Hi everyone, this tutorial is about how to model a simple mug using Autodesk Inventor. The mug I chose has a smooth cylindrical body and a simple handle. In order to decorate it, I used a decal to print an image on its outer surface. Let's start by inspecting the model I have already created. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to model it from the beginning to the end, step by step. The browser menu shows the story of the model and all the features I used to create it. First of all, notice that there is only one solid body in the scene. It means that the cylindrical body and the handle are not separated. They are a unique piece. The first feature I used is a revolution. It creates the cylindrical main body of the mug using a closed 2D profile which is the half section of the mug and a dotted line which is the rotational axis. The second feature is a sweep. The sweep tool requires at least two sketches. One is the path of the extrusion and the other is the profile or section. I used the spline as path and a simple slot as profile. In order to smooth the hard edges on the upper part of the mug and on the junctions between the main body and the handle, I used some fillets. The last feature is a decal. It is just a decoration like a printed image on the main body of the mug. Let's start from the very beginning. In order to create the model of the mug, the first thing you need is a real mug and a tool to get its measures, like a caliber. The mug of this tutorial is very simple and smooth, but with the same tools and techniques you'll be able to model many different mugs. I'm going to use some basic modeling tools, in particular a revolution, a sweep, some fillets and a decal. Create a new metric part file. Select an existing vertical plane and start a new 2D sketch. Using the line tool, sketch the half section of the cylindrical body of the mug. It is a closed shape. Notice that each line has its own dimension. Secondly, in the same 2D sketch, Use the line tool to create a vertical axis for the revolution. Back in the model environment, select the Revolve tool. Inventor automatically uses the existing sketch to create a preview of the revolved solid. Just confirm the result to get the cylindrical body of the mug. Now, to model the handle, I'm going to use the Sweep tool. The sweep requires at least two sketches, a section or profile and a path. For the path, I select a vertical middle plane, starting a 2D sketch and using the spline tool till I get the desired shape. For the profile, I'm going to use a simple slot sketched on an horizontal plane. Be sure that the closed profile of the slot includes the spline we previously created. To be totally sure, use the projection tool to project the spline on the horizontal plane. Use the projected line as reference to sketch the slot. Exit the sketching environment and select the sweep tool. Inventor automatically uses the two sketches we have created to generate a sweep, showing a green preview. 
before accepting the result be sure to select the join boolean operator in the sweep window then click ok to finish the operation time for fillets the first one is for smoothing the upper part of the cylindrical body the second one for the junctions between the main body and the handle last feature of the tutorial is the decal in order to use the decal tool you need to insert an image on a plane to do so start a new to this sketch on a vertical plane place freely an image you like on the plane scale it and move it to the right position while in orthographic view the image must be included in the mag boundaries in order to get a good projection once in modeling environment again use the decal tool and select the image and the outer cylindrical surface of the mug to get the right projection well here it is the mug is complete thank you for watching